guys, welcome back to my channel. To daily today, we are playing some more aircraft. Uh, airport, not aircraft. Airport simulator. Now, you guys absolutely loved the first episode, so I was like, let's do another one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's a little dance right there, and my hair kind of like swings around. I think it's kind of funny. So in Airport Simulator, we are the owners of this airport. Now, I still don't know what to name it, but we're the owners. We're currently not doing so great. Uh, we are currently $265,000 in red. Now, this is easy to fix if we, uh, <clears throat> let some more planes land. The only way I can let more planes land, if we fix the issue with our large gate. I want big planes to land on our aircraft, uh, airport. I keep on saying aircraft for some reason. I want really big planes to land here, and for that, that was a, that was a nice, that was a nice selling plane. That sounded pretty good. Oh, look at that one. Oh, nice landing, bro. For big airplanes to land on our airport, we need a big gate so the people could actually, you know, get into the aircraft. Now, I'm trying to fix it. Uh, it says it requires a door to the terminal. I have a door. I, I, I don't know what they're talking about. And it requires three adjacent taxiways in front. I think they might be talking over here. So we're going to add three more taxiways. One, two, and three. But we need a fourth one to connect this one, and that's gonna cost us another sixty-four thousand dollars. Money's rolling, guys. The money is rolling. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm doing terrible. But that should fix that problem, though. Our next issue is the door. See, if you type in door at objects, you actually do get a door. It's called the outdoor gate. We also get the sliding door. This is a small commercial grade, yet not so cost-effective automatic sliding door. Not too big, not too small. And I've got this one, a commercial grade automatic sliding door, large enough to allow several people through it at once and this one for fences on the exterior of your airport oh so this one's for here i think so it's for fences this means we do have a door right let's put another one down just just in case maybe that'll solve it and while we're at it i want some more work when we've got five right now but but they seem to be kind of lazy all right so let's see if this one fixes it it might, it might fix it i don't know all right our large sliding door has been built but it still says we require a door to the airport i don't understand what they are talking about door to the terminal this is the terminal this right here is our terminal and this right here is our door all right now the last taxi gate has been built see now it only just requires a door but i i, ha I have a door look it's 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 right right here i am really confused oh oh it needs to be <laughs> it needs to be over here oh, i get it don't worry about it we're gonna destroy this one we're gonna destroy this one i fix it hey large sliding door over here i'm so dumb sometimes guys uh, let's get ourselves a nice carpet, so it looks like this is an actual entrance. That should be it. That should be the fix, and then we can finally let big aircrafts land in our airport, so we can get rid of this. We can't really get rid of black, you know, money that's in red. We need to get more money, so we can get more money. That's what I wanted to say. All right, the large gate is functional. Nice. Now let's go to our airline interest and accept all those planes to land. All right, that's a night slot. That's another night slot. Where did all the big planes go? Okay, no, no big planes wanted to land, apparently. <laughs> I guess we just need lights on our runway. All right, let's just fully upgrade this thing then. I, I'm already in, in, in black, so... In red, not black. I'm already in, in red, so whatever. All right, well, we're at it. The ILS system, you know, it doesn't cost too much. Let's put this one down over here. The PAPI usually is around here, I think. But since planes land from both sides, we're just gonna do that. Nice. All right, now we're... Now we're really doing bad. L I mean, look at that. We need to fix this in this episode. We need to fix this. All right, so now that our large gate is actually functional, we can allow more passengers into planes because we can handle bigger planes. Now, that brings up another issue. Our security area is too small. We cannot handle so many passengers. So we're gonna have to expand our security area. We don't have money for this. We just don't. So we could either get another loan, but for a loan, we need to unlock the research. And to unlock the research to get a loan, we need a CFO. And to get a CFO, we need to build an office. But we don't have money for an office. Just doing great, Jelly. You're just doing great. We'll fix this, guys. We'll fix this. We've got a uh, 767 over here. Oh, that's a that's a nice one. I haven't seen any of the large planes yet, but they'll come. I have faith. All right, we're slowly getting our money back. Seriously, very slow. I think it's time we we should either build a cafe here so our passengers are more satisfied, or we build an office so we can get more money. I think we should go with an office. You know what? We're going with an office. We're gonna have to. Let's get a wall. All right, we need an enclosed area. Um, we could build the wall over here. 
There you go. And then we're going with a door. Object, we're going with a door. Putting it, uh, oops. Sorry about, sorry about that, guys. Putting the door over there is quite an ugly door. Now what we could actually do is we, we could split up the, uh, the office into two sections. Thinking about it now. Like this, like that. Need two more doors. One door there, one door there. We're gonna delete the, uh, ticketing zone. This is not a ticketing zone. This is an office zone. Now while those walls are building, we could actually create two offices. One for the CEO, no, sorry. One for the CFO, and one office for the COO. The operational officer and the finance financing officer, right? All right, CFO goes here, COO goes there. Now, while I've got the CFO and the COO working, I just need that to work. Are, are they working? I can, if I'm correct, start researching. No, must have an office. There's an office right here. Do I need to make it into an office zone? Yeah, I do. All right, there you go. Those are offices. The COO's office and the CFO's office, right? Come on. Come on. No, you don't want to do that. Oh, there we go. COO's office and a CFO's office. Now we should be able to do the research for a bank loan. We can also do some road building research. All right. And some pricing research. Now, it's all going to cost money, guys, but we can loan some money. Leaning money is great, guys. It's 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 great. Leaning. I mean, borrowing. Borrowing money. Borrowing money is great. I, I love it. You know, it's... It's really worth it all the time. You definitely never need to pay that back. All right, now let's accept some more airlines to land. Currently, our satisfaction level is not so great. It needs more food. I don't understand. We've got a big cafe and no one seems to be using it. How come no one is using my cafe? What's wrong with my cafe? Is my food worker doing something wrong? Should I fire that guy? Should I fire him? I don't think it's him. Maybe we need to hire another food worker for someone to cook could risk it cost money though okay no that's he just walked right into there okay well that's not great all right our satisfaction is up can we get some more aircrafts to land yes we've got an a350 that's pretty much it that's it right now nothing else the airport interest is not too high unfortunately i i, I hope i can get this higher i need this to like 90 90 percent i think we should put some more vending machines down to get some extra money so a drinking machine there you go a coffee maker but i need to put this in the kitchen only yeah we could sell coffee, I guess. Maybe then people will show up. Is it because we don't have coffee that, don't, that people are not here? I, 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 I don't know. Everyone seems to be so angry! Walking away from me! Why? I don't get it! Am I doing something wrong? Maybe I should upgrade the security level. A body scanner? Let's see, what do we got? A security exit. A secure area boundary. This allows passengers to transition to non-security area. Oh! Oh, I get it! I get it! So if I add that thing, then all those annoying people are not gonna have to walk through here. Am I right? Oh my god. Oh! We've got a, we've got a Boeing 747! Sweet! Is it gonna fill up though? We need to fill this baby up! We've got 12 people boarded, 20 people boarded. That's not doing great, alright? 747 can hold a lot of people. We need to fill this plane up. There's something going wrong here. It might be the security level. People don't like waiting. See, everyone's running away. We only boarded this plane one-fourth so far. That's just absolutely terrible. And now it's leaving. 61 passengers. Okay, that is definitely not great. All right, 74 passengers in total. Oh my god, everyone's leaving! Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna pause the game before we go bankrupt, which we already are. I think we, what we could do, we could split up the security area into two zones. The zone where people can leave and the zone where people can go to the planes. You know, they, they scan their bags and their bodies and it sounds kind of weird scanning your body but it, it happens so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to build a new wall guys we're gonna build the wall or oh, the wall cannot be outdoors okay maybe it's the what foundation i guess like this okay and that's surrounded by walls how does that work oh okay wait i need to wait for the foundation to to be there and then the walls will start working oh god so many angry people that is terrible our airport's going bankrupt guys all right there you go that works that works all right, now let's get, get rid of this wall. All right, we're gonna have to demolish this wall. We can't, can't, it's a support wall. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. All right, let's add a, another security zone over here. There you go. Now we're gonna split these zones up, okay? This right here is the security exit. This is the only way you can leave the airport. Not that way. Does that make sense? Is that, is that how it works? I don't know. Maybe if I build like a wall here, a wall. With like a big sliding door. Is that gonna work? Like this. It's kind of ugly. I think it should work though. I, th I think I think it should work. And now we also need a wall over here. 
Okay, we're, we're just gonna try this out. Let's see if that works. If we actually have that security exit, maybe people are gonna leave the right way this time. It looks like it's doing something. Hello? Is it doing something? Oh, people can't leave anymore. No, 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 no. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. These dumb people, man. You need to go that way. I, <laughs> I don't get it. I, I don't, I, I just don't get it. What? A security exit. Okay, well, I'll destroy that. All right, so we got rid of the security exit. Um, everyone's angry again. See? Why are you angry? Why? Why? Guys, let me know in the comment section, what am I doing wrong here? Because people are leaving through the sliding door. That door's supposed to be secured, right? So we spend all this money on this stuff, and it doesn't seem to be working. I don't get it. What if we... I don't know. What if we had a body scan? <laughs> Is that gonna make people happier? Or oh, hell no. All right, maybe I have an idea. This is gonna cost us a lot of money, though. How do I get rid of this wall? There you go. Get rid of everything over here. We're gonna we're gonna add a larger security area. Basically, one of these scanners things is not enough. Okay, let's get rid of these walls. Come on, guys. Delete it already. There you go. There you go. There you go. Last one. There you go. Now it's now it's gone. All right, let's uh, get our supplies back. So a big carpet already exists. A big carpet over here. There you go. I don't want this carpet. This one goes away. That one goes. Oh, so people are so many people are angry. So many people are angry. Um, <laughs> I'm really trying to fix this. All right, we're gonna add another bag scanner blocked by pending construction. Oh, freaking carpets. I definitely think the airport's not doing so well because of that. Because people are angry. There you go. There you go. There you go. Fixing up the carpet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, we got one more over there. But we can potentially. Oh my God. <laughs> well, we can add this, I guess. All right, there you go. Now, some uh, metal detectors over here. All right, there you go. There we have a shit ton of metal detectors. Now, cues. We're just gonna we're just gonna shrink our queue real quick. Everything we have is going away. Oh my God! There's so many people. That cannot be healthy, guys. All right. Um, we've created a new queue. Doesn't seem to be working very well, though. I don't know what I did wrong. What do you need? ID check stand. Ooh. ID, ID, ID. Where's that? I ID check stand. I didn't know that existed. There you go. All right, now let's ask some more security staff. There you go. Now everything should be functional. Everything should go a lot faster now. If you guys would just queue up properly. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. No? Why are you angry? Why? Why is everyone angry? <laughs> no. Is my airport dying slowly? Oh, we got a nice plane leaving over there. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, A350. Only 15 people boarded. <laughs> all right, so our bag scanners are all functional. Maybe we need more ID checkers. What if we just get rid... Oh my God, look at this. What if we just shrink this queue, right? Shrink it and add a shit ton of ID scanners. Let's add some security staff. And now ID scanners. Like one on every corner. There you go. What about now? All right, workers, come on, build that thing. Build that thing, workers. Build that thing. All right, ID scanners are working. Let's save our game real quick. ID scanners are working, but a lot of people still seem to be very angry. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of ID scan desks, guys. You can just go there. You know what I mean? Oh my God, so many people though. I think we definitely have some more aircrafts we could land. No, no new routes. Oh, we got one. Nice. But that's it. That's it. We only have one. Oh my God. Oh, people seem to be using our cafe. Oh my god, so many people are angry. I don't understand it. What's down here? Deliveries, pickup. What the hell? I didn't know this existed. What? What is this? The zone capacity can be increased by enlarging the area of the zone. Oh, oh, I didn't know this. Passenger buses. I, I didn't know this existed. I, I had no idea. Okay, I have an idea. We're just gonna quick pause the time. Delete the pickup zone. So you can people people can be picked up over here. Is that a good spot? That's a pretty good spot. There you go. So instead of the buses stopping over there, they stop over here now to pick up people. At least I think that's how it works. I, I didn't know that existed. I, I had no idea. I seriously had no idea. Is there anything new we can research? Multi-lane access. Change your airport entrance and access to be two lane roads for higher throughput. Okay, upgraded buses. Schedule an extra double decker every 30 minutes. Okay, we're just gonna do these things. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it, guys. I think this airport sucks. Uh I, I'm doing something wrong heavily. Wait, we can we can loan money from the bank now. Uh, how much can we loan? Borrow. Well, how do we say that? Alright, bank loan, 100 grand. Alright. I just borrowed a hundred thousand dollars. Nice. Uh, helped me out a lot. All right. Our airport's freaking busy, though. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but...
but it's busy, okay? What if we add a, uh, a pavement? We get more movement, right? How much does that cost? That costs way too much money. I think it's it's better, actually, if we just delete the delivery zone or the drop-off zone. There you go. And we just put it closer to the airport. I'm not sure if that's a bad idea or a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And what's all this about? Trash bags. Oh, okay. See, now it's a lot more packed in front of the airport. Wow, our airport is so packed right now. I don't seem to have much security area, uh, security problems anymore. Am I correct on that? Is it going at a, at a good speed right now? I, I see some people complaining. I don't know. It looks like it's doing fine, actually. I think I might have solved that problem. I think I see a lot of people here. Oh, dirty floor. A lot of people are standing in front of the, uh, what is that? What is that? It's a vending machine, right? So, I guess people want more of that. I'm I'm starting to understand the game, guys. It's happening. All right, let's put some more vending machines down, I guess. One over there, one over there, and one over there. Maybe it'll start spreading out a little bit. All right, seems like our airport's doing quite well. We have some income. Did we fix the issue? That's a that's a good question, guys. I think uh, I think we might have. I think we might have solved the biggest issues. We have some some people complaining. I, I don't see reason why right now. Our airport's doing extremely well, extremely well actually. So we oh we have a lot of complainers right now. Oh oh so many complainers. I don't get it. Stop complaining. Don't do that. Maybe we should expand our pickup zone, like. Make it really big. I don't see reason why not. Can we change the pricing? We can. Wow. Make this one more expensive. So a little bit more. Oh, uh, yeah. $15 per passenger now, but cheaper to land your aircraft. How about that? How about that? Is that more interesting, guys? Is that more interesting? Oh, look at ha. Ha ha ha. A lot of people, is. Yes. All right, let's get rid of this carpet. It looks ugly. All right, so even though we don't have a lot of money, and we should probably wait for that, I think it would be awesome to expand our airport all the way to over here and add a lot of extra hangars and uh, stuff. <laughs> could be a could be a possibility, guys. Could be a possibility. I mean, imagine a lot of gates around here with uh, with a big terminal. That'd be sick. All right, let's look at our environment heat map, which visualizes the effect of decorations objects have on passengers. So everything that's red or blue should be bad. So I, I guess that could also be a reason for, for people to get angry. Ho! Ho! It's, it's freaking packed. So maybe we could add some decoration. Let's say a decorative bush. Maybe these bushes will help with making our passengers less angry. Probably will. Probably will. All right, we're just gonna put a lot of bushes down everywhere. <laughs> I don't see a reason not to. I see that we don't have a wall here. See, now that's weird. Oh, it's because I sold those doors. All right, we need to we need to put the wall back, guys. This is bad. This is really bad. There you go. More wall and more wall. <laughs> People are just standing there like, what up, what up? All right, we got a lot of angry passengers. Out of the way, out of the way. Decorated bushes incoming. This will make you happy, I think. I hope. Please. All right, most of the bushes are done over here. Looks pretty good, actually. Very happy with that. Maybe we should put a flight info display uh, somewhere over here. We don't have that, I just realized. People don't know when their flight's leaving. Oops. Oops, Pepsi. There you go. I think we're slowly getting our money back. Uh, we're currently on 400, but we weren't doing a lot worse uh, before. So that's, that's doing well. It's doing well. We can accept a lot more flights right now. Here we go. Another one. A Boeing 737. And that is it so far. Oh, we have we have quite a lot of flights leaving from this airport. Let's count them up. 7, 9, 12, 17, 19 flights leaving from our airport, guys. A little clap because I think we're doing well. I'm still really confused how you make like a proper exit. I don't know how that works. Maybe I can put one down though, like a security exit like over here. No, I, I don't know. I don't think <laughs> I don't think that'll do anything. So you guys need to let me know. Uh, seriously, let me know. Thank, thank you. Thank you guys. All right, how are we doing over here? Our heat map, which will visualize the effect of decoration has on people. Uh, red means bad. Uh... <laughs> It's warm. <laughs> I don't understand it. I put all these bushes down and that only got worse. How? Technically, guys, I could just let my game run and we'll make a lot of money <laughs> by doing nothing. Because our, our airport's running. It's, it's working. It's working. It's working so far. I don't want to do that, though. I, I don't. Uh, I've, I've been playing this game legit so far. It's, it's been pretty fun. What's the schedule like? Oh, we can see when the planes are landing. Ooh. Ooh, a lot of planes. How's my status doing? Oh, okay. I this this is uh, something new. This flight got canceled. En route, en route, en route. Why did it get canceled? So these are all the flights tomorrow. We've got one flight canceled, and yesterday we had a lot of canceled flights. Why? 
I think it's because our airport is not doing super well. It's because people are angry and then people don't show up and then the plane's not full and then they cancel the flights. You know, it all it all works that way. Although this people this plane can hold 46 passengers and it just boarded 30 39. I think that's that's quite well. And we have another one over here, a small beach craft. This one can hold 11 passengers. Five people are standing in line. I should probably create a queue for that, shouldn't I? All right, let's see how, my, how many people are boarding this aircraft. Six. Come on, guys. Please. Seven. Come on. No, uh, eight. Yes. Come on. We have 11 seats. Oh. Is she going in? Nine. Nine. All right. Nine. Nine out of 11. Shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Our aircraft. Our airport's so packed. Look at this. Okay, we should probably add some more of these, uh, these ticketing kiosks. How about that? They're actually quite cheap as well, so if that makes everything go faster, then why why not, right? I seriously think, guys, that our aircraft, or I mean, our airport, is too big for the amount of passengers we have. Look at this. That's, that's insane. That is seriously crazy. That is, okay, that's nuts. And I see the, the restrooms are kind of dirty as well. We need some more janitors, but we, we have already 12. What are they doing? Are they sitting on their asses every day? And these workers are making the new ticketing things. Seems to be working. We got a baggage claim thing rolling. All right, everything's going well. Everything's going fine. Well, 140 people boarded. I'm actually quite impressed. That's that's a lot better than before. What's with all these trash bags, though? What are the janitors doing? Nothing seems to be happening. We got a lot of de deliveries. Let's grab these. It's free money. Yay. Oh, this is where our workers are standing. Okay, I'm confused. All right, guys, I guess we're gonna leave it here for Airport Simulator. I really, really like this game. I, I think it was quite fun playing this so far. Although, there's definitely stuff that, you know, it doesn't really work properly. It's it's too hectic. I kind of want to expand my airport and make it freaking huge. Big, big security checks. Big baggage claims. Big ticketing desks. But, we can't because we don't have money. See, I don't know how much we can go into minus, but we're already minus 370. And it's not really going up, to be honest. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching Airport Simulator. If you enjoyed it, click on the like button. And I will see you in the next video. Hoo-ha! <laughs>